Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this gable frame using slope deflection method. This is a symmetrical frame in the vertical members A, B, D, E and in the inclined members B, C and C, D there is no load. In the joint C we have a nodal point load 32 kN height of A, B and D, E is given as 4 meter. We have to find the inclined length of BC and CD. We know that both of them will be same. In this triangle, let us apply Pythagoras theorem. The base of the triangle is 4 and the height is 3. Root of 3 square plus 4 square, we will get 5 meter. That is the inclined length of BC and CD. We know that in this frame, there is no member load. So all of the fixed end moments will be zero. Since it is symmetrical frame and the loading is also symmetrical, we can easily find the vertical reactions in the points A and E. 32 upon 2, we will get the vertical reactions VA and VE which are 16 kN. Now let us see how this frame deforms. Because of this point load, the frame deforms in this way. Let us keep this displacement as a delta. Let us make a parallel line to BC. Let us connect these two points and then let us make a horizontal line and then we can connect these two points so that we will get a triangle if this distance is a delta this is also delta let us keep the inclined distance as a delta i we have to find a delta i in the terms of delta this angle and this angle will be same let us keep the angle as theta let us take this triangle in this triangle, let us find sin theta that will be 3 upon 5. Now in this triangle, let us find sin theta that will be delta upon delta i. We can equate these two. Finally for a delta i, we will get 5 upon 3 delta. If this is a delta, this also will be delta. Similarly, if this is a delta i, this also will be delta i. Since this frame is symmetrical and the loading is also symmetrical, we will have the same displacements on the left side and on the right side. In addition to the survey, we will have slope. In the joint B, we will have theta B and in the joint D, we will have theta D. In the joint C, there will be no slope because of the symmetrical loadings and symmetrical dimensions in the joint C there will be no slope so theta C is equal to 0 from the center we can split the frame into two parts we can take only the left side and do the analysis here I have taken only the left side of the frame for the member A B the displacement is delta and for the member BC this is the displacement which is 5 upon 3 delta now let us start making the slope deflection equations first let us make them in the member AB since this member is subjected to sway delta with the equations we have to add the sway movements 6ea delta upon L square in the member AB, the sway occurs towards the left side. So the sway movements should be taken as positive. Length of AB is 4. Let us apply that. We know that all of the fixed end movements are 0. Since in the point A, we have a fixed support. Theta A will be 0. Finally, in the member AB, we have made two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the member BC. We know that in this member also there is a displacement. 
So with the equations, we have to add the survey movements for the member BC. The displacement occurs on the right side. So the survey movements should be taken as negative. Length of BC is 5. Let us apply that. And the displacement is 5 upon 3 delta. So instead of delta, we have to apply that. We know that in the point C, there will be no slope. So theta C will be 0. Finally, in the member BC, we have made two equations. Now let us make the joint equilibrium equation. In the joint B, when we add MBA and MBC, it will be 0. Let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC. After adding them, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 5. We have to make one more equation. Let us take the member AB and make an expression for HA. We have to assume that the movements MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. Let us take movement about B and find HA. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. So minus 4 HA. These two movements are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. Finally for HA, we will get this expression. Now let us take the left half of the frame. Let us take movement about C. Here also we have to assume that the movements MAB and MCB are acting in the clockwise direction. The vertical reaction in the point A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 7. So minus 7 HA, these two movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive. For HA, just before we have made this expression, after simplifying, we will get this equation for MAB, MBA and MCB. Let us apply these expressions from the slope deflection equations. After simplifying, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 6. Now we have got two equations, the fifth one and the sixth one. We can take a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we will get MAB. When we apply them in the equation number 2, we will get MBA. When we apply them in the equation number 3, we will get MBC. And finally, when we apply them in the equation number 4, we will get MCB. We have calculated the movements on the left side. Now using them, we can find the movements on the right side. For that, we have to just change the directions. For MAB, we have got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. So MED should be acting in the anticlockwise direction and it will be negative. MBA is acting in the clockwise direction. So MDE should be acting in the anticlockwise direction. In the similar way, from MBC and MCB, we can find MDC and MCD. Now using the direction of the movements, we can draw the bending movement diagram. Using this expression, we can find HA. By taking movement about C, we can find RB. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Alternatively, we can draw the bending movement diagram, keeping the positive values above the line. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.